Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello friends, in today's video we will be learning about notifier, handlers, modules and its argument in Ansible playbook. So here we have an Ubuntu instance and the Ansible is already installed on this given instance. So the first step would be to create a notifier file and in order to create the notifier file the first thing would be to launch the yaml file and for that we will use the command bi notifier.yaml so basically in this notifier file we will be writing down some code for the playbook so starting with three hyphens which are mandatory for the playbook First of all, we will define the host and for host we will take we will be considering all the hosts present inside this Ansible configuration. After that, we will be defining tasks. In the task section, first of all, we are given giving the name of the packages to be installed. So the package to be installed is httpd and we are also providing a command to automatically update the package once the playbook is initiated. Now after giving out the name of the package, we, we will also define another package here. So the another thing would be to copy the configuration file, which is the httpd configuration file. And we'll also de define the action In this action, we are basically defining from where the configuration file will be copied. So here the first part is the path from where it will be copied, the source and the destination will be defined on the second part. Now after that the next thing to be defined here is the notify command and inside the notify what we are doing we are giving it a command to restart the apache server in this we will also be defining some rules once the apache server is restarted so after that we are configuring it to restart the restart and enable the httpd service again and about the service we are giving the name of the service which is std pd the state which is restart state and the third thing is enable which is yes now the third section of the playbook will be the handlers so in the handler section we are giving the name of the service which is to restart apache and the service being defined here is the httpd service and its state will be restarted so friends as we have defined this file first of all we have given the host and the tasks which will be running in all the hosts present and once the tasks are given in the in the given tasks we are giving a notifier file so basically notifier is used to notify the service being 
executed in the ansible playbook file so here we are basically notifying this service to get enabled and updated and the handler will be the service which will be handling this action so here we have two parts notify and handlers so handlers are basically handling the service of the notifiers once the file is completed we can save the file so the handlers basically helps in performing an action over a given configuration file where the notifiers are also defined and the handlers exist at the same level as the host and task as you can see here in our ansible playbook file so basically we will save this file So in order to save the file successfully, it is really important to take care of all the parameters present inside the file. So now in order to get the list of modules available in the Ansible, we, we can use the command Ansible hyphen doc. So once we use the command Ansible hyphen doc space hyphen L, it will give us all the modules present inside our Ansible environment. So in order to use these tools, we can easily check these tools using the command and all the modules are given here with the description. So the modules are basically being used by the handlers and each handler's definition has different modules which are being used so so basically in today's video we learned that how the notifiers and handlers works and how to get the modules being present in our ansible environment and along with that we also learned the functionality of the handlers and notifiers in the playbook yaml file and that was all for today's video thank you